Hey, because of the positive response I saw for my windshield video, I've re-edited it. It's shorter, the audio is better, and there's a little bit more detail. Hope you enjoy. Start off by drawing up some designs. Then, once you're happy with the design, transfer it across to your paper-backed plastic. This is about 5mm thick acrylic. I picked it up from the plastic store as an offcut, and it cost about $2.50 Australian. Just make double sure that you do actually get transparent plastic. Chuck on a mask and some glasses. You don't want to breathe this stuff in. I used a jigsaw to cut out my marks, uh, but you can use a hacksaw or a handsaw. The jigsaw is just a nicer, uh, makes the job easier. Um, if you are going to use a jigsaw to try and use a fine tip blade uh, and just go slowly, you'll get a nicer result and you'll have less sanding to do. Now make some measurements and mark out approximately the center of your windshield. You're going to tape a piece of paper down this center line. Uh, and then once you've got your piece of paper on there, you should be able to hinge it from one side to the other. This is a really crucial step to make the end piece uh, look professionally made. It's going to make it very symmetrical. As you can see here, mark out on the piece of paper one side, flip it over, uh, and then use some scissors, cut that piece of paper. And then once that piece of paper is cut, you'll be able to flip it from side to side and figure out which parts of your windshield need to be trimmed down. As you can see here, I actually, the center line was a little bit off. Um, so I just marked this one again, trimmed it, flipped it from side to side, and then just kept it going in that fashion uh, until the windshield was uh, symmetrical. Now finish off the edges, moving from 240 grit sandpaper up until you're happy with the results. Mark out some mounting holes for your windshield this will be individual for your bike, how you're going to mount it. Next, figure out how you're going to bend it. I really like these tubs. They're quite cheap and you can change the angle that you get from the bend just by how you support it. Place your work on top of a silicon baking tray and then sit that baking tray on top of a regular baking tray in the oven at about 160 degrees Celsius for about 4 minutes. The time and temperature will vary depending on your oven, but that's a good place to start. Once your plastic's nice and soft, place it on your bucket, making sure you get it as straight as possible, and you'll see that your plastic starts to bend around your bucket. And here's the end result. You can see there's that side to side bend, but it also bends top to bottom as well. Just adding that little bit of professional element, I think. Now on this bomb of a bike, I've just mounted it with bolts and some fuel hose for spaces and adjusted the fuel hose height uh, to sort of sit the windshield out a little further. I think it looks pretty good overall. Um, definitely matches the bike I reckon and with my riding experience it has definitely been working quite well. There was no buffeting uh, and it's lasted a good amount of time. There's no real scratches or um, yellowing. Unlike the bike, unfortunately the bike uh, as you can see here has seen some better days. <laughs> I hope this edit's been beneficial for you. Uh, if it has, chuck a like or a subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, and leave any comments down below of things that you might want to see in a future video. Cheers, guys.